Rounding of numbers. Digits either rounded down or up. Digits 1, 2, 3, and 4 are rounded down to 0. Why digit 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are rounded up to 1? So, this is how to round up a number. If a number is between 1 to 4, and you want to round it up, it will be it will be you round it off to zero. You know you know, you know if it, to zero immediately. But if a number is to, is you meet a number between five to nine, you will round it up to you will round it up to one. So maybe you are given a number like six. Three two six. You want to run this uh, number to ten. Let's say to ten. You want to round it off to ten. So if you want to round it off to ten, so the last digit is ten. It will be six three. Now you know you are rounding it off to ten. Recall from the statement I said that the moment. It is six. It is from five to nine. The last digit here will become one. So it will not be. So it will be six three three zero. So for example, maybe like you are landing this uh, number to nearest hundred. This one is nearest ten. To the nearest hundred. If you are to run the top to nearest hundred, this number, you are dealing with these two numbers. We are dealing with two good. These two good number must become zero. So by rounding up two here, two is not two is between one and four. So it will, it will turn to zero. It will be six, three, zero, zero. So you have run it up to nearest hundred. So if it is nearest hundred, we have two zeros. Nearest ten, we have one zero. We also have what you call near, nearest thousands. To the nearest thousands, maybe we have. Six three two six. We want to take it to the nearest thousand. So one two three must become zero. And you know that the three is between the one and four. So therefore, it will be six zero zero zero. So we call this nearest thousand. So. We now call it six thousand. You able to see this one? We have six thousand three hundred and thirty. That is why it's near extent. You see this one six thousand three hundred. So it you know it depends the way you now call it six thousand three hundred, six thousand three hundred and thirty. You able to see directly from here? He said. 6,000. So you are rounding it up to the nearest uh, 10 hundred and thousands. If we were given a number like 67894, so A, maybe you want to uh, round up this number to the nearest 10. If you are to round up to the nearest 10, like 67 to the nearest 10, it will be 6. Seven eight nine four will be we are going to the nearest thing. So you only we only dealing with the last digit two so to be six seven eight nine zero because it's between one and zero. So the unit digit is zero. The you can write it so for you to know 
unit digit 4 is round off to 0. So, for example, we are rounding uh, this uh, up to 100. Let's say B. 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. You know, 200 will be 2 of that uh, number. So, if it is 2, it will be 6, 7. You have to approximate this. You have to round off. So this is 9. 6, 7. So, the 8 here will now become because 9 will become 1. So, 1 plus 8, it will now become 9, 0, 0. So, it has been into the nearest 100 because it is the 94 that we turn to 100. That is, he said, what are the number that near 100? This is the number that near 10. 94, it is the one that nears hundred maybe so let's have the one that near thousands uh let me write it the way you get it better six seven eight nine four to nearest thousand to nearest thousand so you want to convert the three to thousand so it says six seven eight nine four will now be six because this eight becomes zero it become one six eight so this three will now become zero one two three so it's not so it's easy for you to pronounce it better that that is to say it is eight nine four that become thousands so if you are to pronounce it says Sixty-eight thousand because six seven eight nine four nears it nears a uh, thousand. So that is how we round up number. That's how we round up number. So for rounding up number, the logic terms that you need it is between one to four and between five to nine. So if it is between one to four. It returns to zero. So if, if it is between five to nine, it will become one. So this is the basic knowledge of rounding up a number of. So I'll give you a classwork. So you submit it to the comment sections and if you know what we are doing, it asks a meaningful things. Uh, you are gaining from into please subscribe to the channel and put on your notification home so let's have a class or let me just write round of the following number round of the following to the nearest one to the nearest hundred and two thousand so what are the number that you want to round up just two numbers e 78 231 B fifty-eight six six seven. So these are just two numbers that we uh, that will be in your clerk's work. So you submit it to the comment section, you just type the value, and I will know and I'll confirm it from the comment section. So we're also going to another subtopic that will make you to get it better. So that is about the rounding off so we want to round up as in another way of uh, uh, like subtopic you want to round up an off number to the nearest tenth hundreds and thousands 
if you can able to see these uh, terms it possesses th hundred also possesses th so the th means a decimal form for example we're given a number like two point four six seven one so let's say number and figure one we want to round off this number four six seven one to the nearest tenth. If it is to the nearest tenth, what you do is this that you said two point now to the nearest tenth it means that it will be a uh, two point a, 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 a digit as in a zero after the point. So if it is to, 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 to have a zero after the point, you are going to deal with this six. And as I've said earlier, from five to nine, we turn to one. So one plus four to give us five. So, and you, you know that a point uh, any digit after point, if it is zero, it has no meaning. So, we are now rounding it up. You now say that, uh, sorry for, let me round it off to make it uh, meaningful. So, we have 2.4671 will now be 2.5. To the near extent near x so that is to the near x uh, thing so uh, we are now going to the near x hundreds let's say we have uh, 2.4671 to the nearest hundred so hundred means that we only need these two digits so we have two point four six seven one we now be two point now what we need now is you only need this two number after the the two so you now you now run uh hop this number so we have seven seven we now turn to one so one plus six is now be four seven so that is nearest hundred nearest so you know, it is not very easy, you know. In, in hundred, we have just two zero. These are just the two now. In ten, we have only just one zero. That is point, a digit after that point. In hundred, we have two digits after the point. So let me... So the same number, we want to uh, round it up to nearest thousands. We have two point four six seven one to two thousand. So we only need the three digit number. Let me so it's easy for you to copy the note well to the nearest thousand we have th so which is now be two point four six seven one will now give us so to the nearest thousand we need three digits after the point so the three digits will now be two point so since it is one, one with becomes zero. 
So the answer will be 2.467. So we have running it up to 2.467. So let me just give you a little class works here. So that you can practice. Said round off the following numbers. Round of the following numbers and of the following numbers So the following numbers to to the nearest one tenth to hundred uh, th and thousand. Now, so let me just write like two, three numbers, you know. So A, you convert this number 4.2675. Turn this number to 0 0.0706. C. We have thirty three point six seven five four. So now for having the so you do this as classwork and you submit it to you just type the answer to the comment section in YouTube and don't forget if what we are doing is meaningful, try to subscribe to this channel. So anytime I'm releasing video it's very easy for you to see it and study. Significant figure. The first non-zero digit on the left of a number is a significant figure. Digits are also rounded up or, or rounded down. If a number is to be expressed or corrected into, say, Two significant figure. Then the third digit is to be examined. If it falls within zero and four, ignore the digit by rounding it down to zero. But it falls within five and nine, then one is added to the second digit in order to arrive at the answer. Maybe you were given a number like five two six zero uh, five four seven. We want to convert this number to one significant figure five two six zero five four seven to one significant figure. What you are doing is that, you know, the 5260547, if you to convert to one significant figure, we need just a figure. It is this second number, two, that you are going to ignore, as he had said. So it will now be 5000000. So that is, we have converted to one significant uh, figure this is one significant figure maybe the same example we want to convert it to two significant uh, figure let's convert it to two significant figure we have to to two significant 
figure. So what you do is um, this number we need just a two digit. So, so we need a we need two digits at the exact junction. You have to consider six now. So but six is four within five and nine. So as he had said from the definitions, he said he said if it falls within zero and four, ignore the digits by rounding it down to zero. But if it falls within five and nine, then one is added to the second uh, digit in order to arrive at the answer. So therefore, so this is six as now becoming one. So meaning that five two six zero five four zero will now be five the six will now become one. One plus two is now be five three zero 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 zero. So this is to two significant figure. The same number again five two six zero five four zero. We want to convert this number to four significant figure. The same number we have to convert to four we need four digits of a number. How do we uh, as in we want the number to be in four digits. So therefore you have five two six zero five four zero we need this number in four digits that is what we call four significant figure one two three four so it will end here now the question is this that the five is is still is still, is still within that you can make it to become one so the five will run Hub to be one here, so to, you, you have five, two, six, one, zero, zero, zero. So this is to four significant figure. This one is three significant figure. So uh, let's try to round it up to. Uh, six significant figures so let me five two six zero five four seven to six significant uh, uh, figure so now if you are to put this one in six what you need is six uh, digit so you firstly count the numbers one two three four five six so we need a six digits number so you said five two six zero five so the seven will become one so one plus a four to give you five zero so this is to six significant figures so you count it one two three four five six so that is how we manage significant figure so now we want to this is we are going to another example that maybe uh, it has a decimal number so this is this one without decimal number so we want to have another number that have uh, a decimal number so the, it will now see the way we also uh, solve it now maybe we have uh, a number like o point zero zero six three four nine seven now this number we want to trick this number let's uh correct this number to one significant figure you know zero point zero zero six three four nine seven 
to one significant figure. So now, if you want to convert this one number to one significant, you just need just a digit. So you will ignore because this is three. It does not reach five. So you will ignore it. You said 0 0.006. Three, four, nine, seven. To one significant figure, it will be zero point zero zero six. So three zero will become zero 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 zero. So that's all. So, and recall that is zero after a point has no meaning. So it's zero point zero zero six. So. Uh, so it will be zero zero six. So that is now to one significant figure. So let's also uh, have like two uh, two significant figures. You know, let me have like zero point zero zero six three four nine seven to two significant figure so having this we have 0.006 if you want to convert this one to two significant figure we only need uh, two digits so if you're able to study well this is four it is not rich five so you will ignore it you have zero point zero zero six three so this is two significant figure now let's just try to round it up to the last digits and let me or maybe we have 0 0.006347 to 4 significant figures. So if you are to make this one to 4 significant figure, nine, uh, sorry, 9, 7. So we need four figures one two three four so now for every four figures it will end up like zero point zero zero six three now we need to hand in nine we need to hand in but by putting this one to give you ten so the is also carry uh one already so without wasting of our time, it will become five zero because it's ten. So and the one cannot stay in another place than to add the one to four. So this is to four significant figure. So that is how to do anything we call significant figure as at this stage. So by the time we proceed to another class, we also treat more about approximations and estimations so that is where we now days more about significant figure but this is elementary stage of significant figure decimal places so if we want to determine how many decimal places are in number we start counting the digit from decimal point to the right and we count zero after decimal point so now maybe we were given a number like 26.05 three seven let's convert this number to one decimal place two six 
point zero five three seven. We want to convert this to let me so to easy for you to write this note. So convert convert to one decimal place. Now, if you are to convert this no, this number to one decimal place, as I've said earlier, we still pass through the same process of rounding down, ignoring, and adding one. So, this five, it will turn to one. It means that two six point zero five three seven will be two six point one. So, 26.1 has been correct to one decimal place. So, that is has been correct to uh, one decimal place. So, let's also correct this to two decimal place and three. So, if I'm to correct this, 26.0537, correct... We want to convert, uh, correct it to, let me, I want to write it as a question, to two decimal place. So now, for correct correcting this to two decimal place, so you need two digits after the point. So the two digits will be a zero point. Five because we are going to ignore the three. It does not reach five. It is between zero and four. You have two six point zero five. So this has been correct to two decimal place. So uh, let's also correct to three decimal place and that should stop there. We have two twenty six point zero five three seven to three decimal place. So in correcting this to three decimal place, in correcting this to three, so we need three digits after the point. So getting three digits will be this is 26.123. So, 7 will turn to 1 because it's between 5 and 9. So, we have 26.054. So, we have able to correct this to three decimal place. So, this is how to correct any given number to a decimal place. And this is what we call a decimal place. So we don't need to do much of an example. Decimal place is a direct uh, question in mathematics. So I uh, will just give out a class work. I will just give out a class work so we can... So, I want you to correct all this number. Correct the following to one, one decimal place, two decimal place, four. decimal place so let me just give you the, let me give out the number one five point two four six five three two nineteen point zero zero one two three three fourteen point Five seven six three nine four 
4.09606. You correct all the following to one decimal place, two decimal place, and three decimal place. So another classwork for the uh, significant figure. Significant figure class work. So, for the significant figure, uh, you help us to co uh, convert this to some some significant uh, figures. So. Let's convert, correct us this number to, let me give you like, um, okay, one, correct, this is 184792, two, three significant figure, two, uh, correct this to, Four four one five point seven six two two significant figure number three zero point zero nine eight eight five one two three significant figure uh the number four oh point seven nine nine four to two significant figure so you do this and you submit the classwork to the comment section in youtube and you so uh if what we have been doing since morning is meaningful and um uh, it's what we can gain from uh, help us to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification on so anytime we are uh, releasing any video you're able to see it immediately about the series of any of the videos that we are releasing the proper lectures that we are releasing so we also beg you to subscribe so to make us uh, to give an encouragement to Hawks. So, thanks for uh, receiving this uh, lecture.